All right, welcome to the July 9th Aries Cloud Agent Python Users Group Meeting. Um, few things on the agenda, the release uh, RC4 of release 1.0 is out. Um, we wanna talk about ACPI conformance with W3C VCDM and some open ID for VC updates. Um, <clears throat> VC issuance updates. And I see I've got the capitalization wrong there, but that's okay. Let me grab the chat or grab the URL, put it into chat in case anyone wants to update. Uh, feel free to help with the note taking and to add yourself to the meeting notes. Um, we are recording this call and I'll post it afterwards here. Reminder, this is a Linux Foundation Hyperledger Foundation meeting. So the antitrust policy at the Linux Foundation is in effect, as is the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to be presenting at uh, CCG today on did TDW. So um, I have a hard stop at eight at 845 today, um, Pacific time, 45 minutes in. So um, uh, hopefully we can uh, keep things at to that time frame. Any other announcements or anyone want to introduce themselves as we start the call? Feel free to step up to the mic. <clears throat> All right. Um, so on the agenda, release uh, 1.00 RC is out. Um, the we did do RC three. Turns out almost exactly a year ago. Um, so um, this is RC four, even though it's the first really viable um, one point zero point zero um, release that was published um, early this morning Pacific time, and um, is now out there. Um, the point was raised of deprecating the V1 credential exchange protocols. Ian proposed that. I, I suspect there should be a PR for that. And to put that into uh, a deprecation notice, to put it into the um, startup um, notes, is I think that's the way to do a deprecation. So the two questions here um, do we agree we should be deprecating those? And I would agree. And then the second is, how do we go about doing it? I thought they were already deprecated. Oh, yes, you... they are. Indeed. We've marked the, okay. the admin API endpoints as deprecated, and we've added that the banner, uh, the deprecation notice for both the V1 credential issuance and present proof protocols. Yeah, because when you, when you open up the Wait. Swag page, the V1... Yep. Endpoints are disabled, but you, they're still you can still call them, but they're not active on the Swagger page. So we did that in twelve, because I didn't see that in any of the individual PRs. I went through every PR to figure, to pit, select the ones that I thought were breaking changes and so on. Right. Um, that that one was in in twelve. Yeah. Okay. Do we want to actually remove them? Then is that what we're saying? Well, I think I think in the, I think it's fine to leave them in the way they are right now, but I, I think it should be added as a breaking change. Not that it's okay. breaking, but just so that it's kind of in oh in everyone's awareness that they're gonna be gone at some point. Yeah. Okay. So too late for the release RC4, but it's fine to get it into any other RCs we do in the final release. Um, the So at this point, we would be looking for any, um, you know, aggressive work on getting RC4 tested. Um, as far as I know, there's nothing more we plan to go into that. Um, although, additional things could come up, obviously. So um, um, is there documentation changes necessary? Yes. 
So those, that's what we're, we're saying here, Kyle, is that those were done in 0.12. Um, notably, when you start up Akapai, there is a log message or a, a, a terminal message that gets displayed as well as it was documented in the change release and in the open API spec. So I think that that, that work has been done. That's what, that's what I was thinking needed to be done, but it was actually already done. Um, and I agree, adding a reminder into the change log. Um, yeah, so would be good to have, um, you know, uh, lots of, of focus put on testing out this RC to see if there's anything we're missing from it. Um, it will run through the um, AATH tests tonight um, in that AATH runs main, so um, that will test it out. Um, is there any other changes we need to go into it? AATH has been struggling a bit lately with um, weird build issues. Um, uh, we think we've got those nailed, but we're still getting unexpected um, errors in some cases. So we're still investigating that. Um, but definitely things like putting it into traction, putting it into VC off end, and um, any other teams that have deployments, uh, putting it into the dev or test environments in those um, in those places, so we can see if there's anything we're missing in 100 RC4 that we need to add before we get to 100. All right. Um, I do not see Patrick on the call. So um, he was the one going to do this one. Oh, actually, let me just make sure. Any other comments on 100? Anything else that should go into it? Um, as far as PRs goes, I think we're good to go um, from that perspective. Um, we did have this new one draft added, the VCDM. Um, issuance. Um, Patrick's not here to talk about that. We do want the release strategy. That's probably the one more that I want to see in there um, so that that's included as part of the 1.00. Um, uh, in answer to Daniel's questions, there it is. Um, yeah, so I think we're set there. The, these uh, VCDI and um, items are getting very close to being completed. Um, Ian is working with the What's Cooking team, but these will be in or not in 1.0 as, as they arrive. We're not going to hold up based on that. Yeah, the VCDI proof request, the functionality is actually working now with revocation, and it's just... Oh, uh, the, 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 they're doing some code cleanup and updating some unit tests and yeah. the demo the demo is working and there's integration tests already. So it's pretty close. All right, that's good news. All right, I'll move this item up. Um, Tim, do you wanna take over? Sure. So we have been doing some work, development work with OpenID for VCI plugin that was released as part of the Akapai plugins. Um, right now, the current state of that, that, that plugin is that it supports JOT type VC, and we wanted to add other VC types to it. Um, in our case, um, data integrity proof and, and, and M ISO MDL MDoc, um, or eventually, hopefully just ISO MDoc um, when they release those specs. And in doing so, we need to modularize things a bit. And so we thought instead of just developing in the background and not knowing what else is looking at, we wanted to get a draft PR out there and, and have others, um, other, other people take a look at it and see what direction we're going in and see if there's other approaches that might make sense. So we're using a plug-in approach for each credential type. And then the core OpenID VC um, just consumes the plugins. Um, so that's that's the basic background, what we're trying to do. The PR is there, and Ivan um, is on the call. Ivan Wei, who is a developer who's actually did the work, can speak to some of the, the details of the PR. Um, I don't know if you want me to share my screen. Where's the PR here? Had it up into Zoom. 
sorry, I've lost the um, dry, the PR is seven thirty um, seven thirty four in the Aries Occupy plugins. Okay. Um, so that, that's the background. Um, Ivan, do you want to give a little background on, on the technical approach that you implemented? Is Ivan on the call? I thought I saw him. Yes, he is. Perhaps pulled away. On mute, maybe. Um, Ivan, have you accepted the um, recording announcement? Because you can't unmute until you do that. Well, all right then. Okay. Well, oh, oh, here no. we go. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Um, yeah, they, they, they have to accept some terms. Um, so, as on, if you can see my screen at the moment, uh, the going is black right now. Oh, okay. Let me reshare. Can you see it then? Okay, it started. Yep, there we go. So the entire screen. Okay. Um, on the, on the left side, you can see uh, there is uh, this is the original OID for VCI plugin. Daniel made it. I think as awesome work. Uh, a uh, we we learn a lot of from <clears throat> from it. Uh, so from this uh, diagram, you see the architecture here. Uh, the the basic uh, OID for VCI public routes uh, has a issu issuance uh, of the credentials uh, and the holder will accept it. But uh, as you can see at the moment, um, there is only one JWT job uh, credential format supported and then that's a part of the uh, plugin itself. Uh, while we were adding like uh, the MMs, MSO, MDoc, we were thinking if we, you know, if there's a two ways we can do the first one is so we can just uh, open up the source code, add our plugin, <laughs> add our logic into the plugin. Uh, basically, this is not a good idea. I think uh, every single time when we add uh, a new credential format, we need to modify the source code. So me and Tim uh, uh, talk about that and uh, he uh, came with the idea to uh, modulize the credential format support uh, outside of the uh, the insurance plugin. So we created uh, another plugin called uh, for for basically for each uh, credential format. Uh, we create a plugin to handle that specific uh, credential logic there. Um, so I just want to sh quickly share the. <clears throat> source code I'm having here. So the first one first, uh, we added uh, uh, another configuration parameter here uh, for, see, we have MSO MDoc. Uh, we create a plugin to handle it. And we also extract the existing job credential format uh, outside uh, to create a new plugin. Uh, job VC JSON, and then this is handler's uh, path. So from the public route, uh, the key point here is the handler here. Uh, originally, uh, so Daniel, I didn't modify a lot of uh, your source code. It, it's uh, it, it's written awesomely. So I just like take uh, the job section outside and then in a separate plugin. Uh, so all the validation uh, from issue credentials down to here, uh, based on the controllers, uh, based on the credential uh, format name, I uh, dynamically load up a handler, which is defined in the configuration uh, parameter file, or you can see uh, once a handler has been loaded up, I'm going to pass uh, the logic to the handler to handle it. So this section is the original uh, logic. I just took it out from um, from the original public route and then create a 
new uh, <clears throat> plugin. So as you can see, going through the same logic here at the end, return a jot and back to the public road handler. So that, uh, that the way uh, this plugin will issue the credential to the wallet. Uh, so on the other side, we have uh, MSO MDOC plugin as well, similar to the jot. Uh, we got a handler from here based on the format. We hand it over to MSO MDOC plugin and do the insurance work. So this is a little bit different. Uh, we're requiring doc type and also device key from the uh, pop. And the, the rest is signing, creating the payload. At the end, uh, we're gonna re return a uh, Seaboard encoded uh, MSO and doc. And then the, uh, the payload will return to here. And, oh, sorry, not here. So the here, and then gonna send it over to the, <clears throat> to the wallet. Uh, yeah, that's uh, that basically the, the work we're trying to do. Um, is, and we introduce a, a sort of like a Python interface with the ABC inherent. And this is handler definition type of thing so that uh, we can, uh, uh, we can uh, add uh, more uh, credential format later on by following the same pattern. Uh, we, we just want to bring it up to the table to see uh, your opinion and uh, suggestions uh, and uh, ideas to get it better. Maybe you can you can have some some uh, feedbacks to the work we were being done. Thanks. That's it. That's for me. For me. <clears throat> My initial feedback is I think this is awesome. This is really cool work. Uh, we went into the plugin with a, a very much mindset of like, this is provisional, uh, like we ex we intend to expand from here. Um, and mm -hmm. you've, you've seemed to have done a really awesome job of expanding from where we were. So that, that <laughs> looks really cool to me. Yeah, you know, the base foundation there, you have already did that. And uh, we just like did, did a little bit extra work and make it uh, expandable. But I think... Uh, you have already planned it. Uh, maybe you didn't have the bandwidth to work on, but uh, no, <laughs> yeah. So comments and accepted uh, directions, and uh, we we work together to get uh, get it uh, right. <clears throat> Very cool. Uh, yeah. I am looking forward to looking at the PR in greater depth. Um, I'm not sure that I have much more questions or comments personally. Uh, though maybe I do have one. Um, so you have uh, the MDoc module is so for the JWT VC JSON and the MDoc are these both like complete or, or is this just the beginnings of the the modules um, um, and they need to be built out uh, further? Or? Yeah, it's a kind of uh, working in working uh, condition, but I didn't uh, write a lot of uh, test cases to cover every single test uh, case test scenario. Mm -hmm. uh, but the core logic is there. We we can as of today we can issue MDoc uh, and also DWT as well. Uh, I I don't have the wallet yet, but uh, I think Tim can if, if you want and we can show show the uh, end to end uh, of a D, uh, JSON DWT credentials at the moment. So uh, there there is a uh, this one. That's the origin log you written. I just took it out uh, to create a separate uh, <clears throat> plugin, and then the MSO MDoc. Uh, that's a uh, the later on our work. It's a it's a complete, but uh, like I mentioned, then the use case that the test case is not complete. So we yeah. haven't had a lot of uh, test cases written yet. We do have a test wallet, very rough for the for the MDoc mm -hmm. format. Really, it's only purpose is a test that they can be issued in, into a wallet. It's just a small React Native app, and that was developed by a, a different a different team, but it is possibly available. Our goal is to build this into in, into um, into Bifold into the Bifold wallet. Okay. If there's no questions, that's it. We just want to give everyone a flavor of what we're doing and and um, 
the draft says draft for now will stay in, in, in draft until the PR will stay on draft until we're until we so finalize the test cases and finalize all the feedback. That's awesome. Nice work. Thank you. All right. Um, as I said, uh, I do still do not see Patrick here. He had asked for a bit of time to talk about that, but um, I guess that's not going to happen. Um, so I, I think we've taken a look at the PRs. Um, this one came in last night, intriguingly, from um, the folks. Um, George has done a lot. Of, he's from Anonymy. Labs and has done a lot of work in Aries VCX. So I'm intrigued as to what is going on here. That's his um, primary home in, in Hyperledger is Aries VCX. So we'll see what's there. Um, other than that, I think this one needs a bit more review. One for sure thing would be to drop. Uh, I think we should just stick with um, 12 as opposed to 11, I was going to check on the release dates of those. So go through this one, but I definitely want to have this um, gone through and I want to make sure right now that 12 has no known security vulnerabilities. Um, Pradeep, I don't know if you've done that. Have you looked at 11 and 12 to see if there's any updates that we should be doing as part of those, um, as part of those updates? Um. The 11.1 has um, uh, has no uh, reported vulnerabilities as well as the 12.0. I don't think uh, I got anything. Uh, so they all passed the uh, tests. Excellent. They're all good. Yeah. Good. Okay. Um, let's check on the dates of these two um, and then and then see about that. Um, I want to would like a final review. Oh, there you go. Up to January 2025. Okay. Okay. So we're actually fine with both of those. Um, that's helpful to have that in there. Thanks um, for putting that. That was the thing I was going to check. Um, and then I, I would like to go through this. I have not had a good chance to read through and make sure I understand it. The biggest thing I want to make sure I understand is what I've got to do um, from a release management perspective and making all of those um, updates. Um, yeah. So, you know, that it's well documented, that I understand um that we all understand uh how how an update occurs and and how we get notified of a need based on this so looking forward to that um as far as any new issues that come up um i don't think there's any that are in there we've started to see some of them be uh closed off which is good um, we'll check to see if there's other ones um, that we can close off. I, I might try to do a pass through all of the issues to see how many can be um, closed down. Um, are there any other topics for today? That might work for me since I'm, you know, kind of get all nervous about presenting today at, at nine. So heck. Any other hot topics? One thing to be aware is there will be a meeting, um, I understand, um, coming up this week, Friday or Thursday or Friday, where um, uh, the cryptographer's feedback from um, ARF, the um, discussion that has, has come about on the European GitHub, um, that was mentioned, I believe, in the previous meeting. Um, evidently, there is code to review or concepts to review, algorithms to review about um, holder binding related to BBS and hardware. So we'll see how that goes. Um, and I'll certainly provide any feedback I can. Tim. Uh, just on that note, has anyone been looking at this BBS Sharp stuff that got sort of popped in there? I they have are, not. Yeah, they're claiming holder binding to to secure elements, secure areas with BBS. Okay. 
a similar kind of vein as what this feedback may be. I'm just curi curious. Yeah. I have not. I do the <laughs> they, I, I I read through the comments and then tried to figure out who the heck they were. Yeah, um, I think they're G. I think they're the GSMA group from. Okay. The, I think that's who it is, and the document is so dense it's hard to read. <laughs> yeah, there's it, no it names associated with it. the The GitHub ID is opaque. <laughs> Yeah, and they keep posting in different places too. But I do think there is something behind it. But for some reason, it's yeah, it's it's weird. Yeah, yeah. So that's the most interesting thing going on um, in CKP land. That's for sure. Is is the the really um, decent push to um, to BBS signatures. Um, the other one I know, and, and Tim, perhaps you have more context on this. The other push um, that I've heard mentioned a few times, and it's in that thread, is there should be no signatures on data. Yeah, I've seen that debate quite a bit. Yeah. It's a secure pipeline, secure secure channels versus... Um, but the, um, if you're on that note, it's Google has a very strong response to that. They because um, the okay. EU, I'm sorry, Germany is the one who's pushing these options. They have four options. Yeah. yeah. And, and um, I, I, the Google response is embedded somewhere in there. It's an interesting read. Um, okay. And they actually Google actually mentions ZKPs as the proper solution. Okay. Um, not necessarily BS plus, but they do mention ZKPs throughout, and, and they're not very very fond of the secure channel approach. Okay. But yeah, I have no idea. So that's interesting debate as well. Okay. All right. Um, with that, um, unless anyone has any more, I think we'll call the meeting and um, I'll get ready for presenting at the W3CCG. Feel free to join in half an hour. Thanks all. Have a Thank delightful you. day. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck with the presentation. Thanks.